This review is made possible by Toyota of Naperville. Toyota of Naperville is the largest Toyota dealer in Illinois, with hundreds of new and used vehicles in their inventory. Visit www.toyotaofnaperville.com or in person at 1488 West Ogden Avenue in Naperville, Illinois. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2019 Toyota Tundra Limited Platinum. Up front is a 5.7 liter V8 and down below is a 6-speed automatic transmission. If you'd like to hear more of my thoughts, head on over to carmarshall.com slash overdrive. But let's get back to that 5.7 liter V8. Well, it's a Toyota V8. Now they've been using this in the Tundras for quite some time. I actually recently drove an older generation Tundra. So if you'd like to see an older Tundra, I do have a video up on my channel and I'll link that in the description below. But it's an iForce V8. It's really just a cool name. It is a very, very nice V8. It's smooth, it's not jerky. And it definitely, definitely puts out the power, which is what you want in a Tundra. This is a full-size pickup truck, so you're going to be towing, you're going to be hauling, you're going to be doing jobs, doing work with this truck, and so you want a reliable engine. That being said, that word reliable rings true because that Tundra that I drove, the older Tundra, had the same engine and it, it was going at 200,000 miles without a single hitch, was still running like a top. So these engines will last forever. This truck would really be an investment rather than just a tool you would pick up. All right, we're on the back straightaway. We'll, uh, we'll see what the little 5.7 can do. Okay. Not bad. You get that torquiness and it goes. I like the iForce V8 a lot. I really do. Like I said, paired to it is a six-speed automatic transmission. Nothing to say here. It shifts. It does the job, and that's all I can ask for it. And last but not least, the Tundra is four-wheel drive, which is selectable, and we'll get to that when we talk about the interior. So let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have a bunch of different actual physical gauges. I really like this. On the far left is my tachometer. Then in the middle, I have a screen, which is surrounded by oil pressure, coolant temperature, battery voltage, and fuel. Then on the right, I do have my speedometer. The gauges are kind of surrounded in this gear looking gauge cluster. I really like that. I think it does sort of appeal to the working man. This is more of a working man's truck. I really, really like that. In the middle, I can change the center screen. I can make it say a couple different things. I could use a compass, my Bluetooth, my lane keep assist, my messages, or my settings. I can turn certain things on and off stuff like that on the steering wheel i have buttons to control that center screen in the gauge cluster as well as my voice controls phone options lane keep assist and parking sensor buttons to the left i have a bunch of different buttons i have my power mirror options door light on and off my headlight adjusters this is great if you are towing a large load for whatever reason and the truck tilts back you're going to be blinding people with your headlights you can readjust them over here so you're not blinding people i have auto headlights the rear window switch which the whole rear window comes down i found out right now that's really cool it's like a forerunner absolutely cool then I do have the bed light on and off switch as well. On the door, I have my memory seat options as well as my power windows. The only the front two are auto, but still nice. Moving over to the center, we do have an infotainment system. I like the knobs. They're very tactile. It's a decently basic infotainment system. It's not really going to wow you in any sort of way, but it's nice. And it actually does say Tundra across the middle, which normally I wouldn't like, but it actually kind of works right here. Speaking of which, down below, we do have the heated and cooled seat options as well as just the rest of your climate controls, which interestingly enough, there is the recirculating button, which they actually put a truck on it instead of a recirculating car. I like that attention to detail. I appreciate that they made a different button just for the truck. To the left of the climate controls is your two wheel drive, four wheel drive selector knob. You just twist it and it does the work. That's it, super simple and I love that. To the left left of the four wheel drive controls, we do have our towing and hauling mode, traction control off, parking sensors off, and then our trailer brakes. So you can adjust the sensitivity of your trailer brakes if you are pulling something like that. Then we have a center console, we have an aux, some cup holders, and then the shifter. The shifter is the standard Toyota slash Lexus shifter that they use in pretty much every other product in which they make. And I'm not complaining, it works. It's just I've seen it so many times, I don't really have anything new to say. 
What is new is the center console. It says platinum. It is a giant center console. Super, super nice, especially if you're gonna be out on a job site, doing a bunch of stuff, having a lot of things on you. Boom, throw it in that center console. The seats are comfortable. They have this sort of diamond stitching on them. It says platinum, which is really, really nice. I like that a lot. And they are comfortable. Like I said, they are heated and cooled. So they are ventilated. Ventilated, cooled means the same thing. Basically, it blows cold air on your butt and back. But speaking of seats, we will do a back seat review. All right, so I'm in the back of the 2019 Toyota Tundra Limited Platinum and legroom is plentiful. This is where my seating position was and I can fully move my legs, I can extend my legs. It is a very comfortable back seat. Do get a center console, two cup holders. I get a 12 volt charger on the center console and that's really it. No other really big features back here. I like the fact that that rear window goes all the way down. That would be nice to ride back here with that open air sort of experience. But other than that, really basic back seats, but super, super roomy. Trucks of the mid 2000s did not have roomy back seats, but these definitely, definitely do. I mean, just look at this. I can just sprawl out. And the diamond stitching does carry on to the back seats as well, which is, it's, it's nice. I definitely would not mind a road trip in the back of one of these. To finish out the interior, a couple things. First of all, sunroof which is fairly large i like it of course you can open it tilt it whatever you want that is awesome but the overall interior i have very mixed opinions on because it has this quilted leather by the airbag has the quilted leather on the door the sort of brushed aluminum the platinum seats but the steering wheel is the same as the base model i don't see any difference the shifter looks the exact same the infotainment is the exact same and so i really feel like this is just a dressed up Tundra. I mean, it is. That I mean, that's what it is. It's just a higher trim level, but the dashboard is still this fake plasticky leather. The buttons are still super plasticky. I just feel like someone took a regular Tundra and just bolted on a few nice parts to make it nicer. Is it nicer than a base Tundra? Yes, but not by a whole, whole lot. So let's talk about the looks. I'm a big fan of the color match grill in the front. I think the Tundra isn't a bad looking truck. I think it's really, really big. I, you really underestimate the size. I always remember Tundras being a little bit smaller, but no, these things are big old trucks. They are full size trucks. And I like the look of the shorter bed crew cab. It's a good looking truck overall. That, that's really all I could say. I think it looks good. So as we get towards the end of the Tundra review, what are my overall thoughts? My overall thoughts are I like it, it just doesn't feel premium enough to carry that platinum name, the platinum limited name. Yes, of course, it has lane keep assist and it has cooled seats, has nicer seats. It has a lot of nice features. And I just feel like it isn't quite up to par. But that being said, I know for a fact this truck will run longer than its competitors. I know it will. I know that iForce V8, that 5.7 liter will last you a long time. If you buy this truck, you will not need another truck for at least 20 years. Unless you get in an accident or you decide to sell it, you will not need another truck for 20 years. I, I would put money on that. And that's why people buy Tundras and that's why I like Tundras. Is that yeah, they do kind of seem dressed up, but they're going to keep running and running and running. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something about the 2019 Toyota Tundra Limited Platinum. Huge thank you to Toyota of Naperville for allowing me to take out their Tundra. Their information is up on the screen. They have helped me time and time again to get cool cars to review. And I have reviewed a bunch of the brand new pickup trucks. So I will leave a playlist at the end of the video. If you are looking for a new truck, definitely check out my other reviews. Currently I have a 2019 Silverado 1500 and a 2019 Ram 1500 up on the channel. So if you are shopping for a pickup truck, definitely look there. If you are shopping for a Tundra, definitely, definitely head on over to Toyota of Naperville. They have great deals. They have tons of these trucks on the lot and you will find one that suits you. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care guys. Was a sight for my soul.
side. 